gotten her name blanket. It doesn't look like anything right now. Literally made me start crying. Ready for bed. Perfect my mom makeup. I know exactly the kind of dirt that I want. New Christmas tradition. It's just really cool. To get the mail but I'm putting on my belly band first because I just can't walk without it these days and I'm excited because I'm gonna be taking all of our Christmas cards and our thank you cards and dropping them in the mail today we're sending them out which is exciting because we've been working on them for like two weeks now so I'm ready to be done with them and have them sent out already and I do need to buy like six stamps because yesterday I bought like two books of stamps and that was not enough so I still need to buy like six more but yeah it is like a gorgeous freaking day today. It's actually been pretty nice. It was like upper 50s yesterday. It's supposed to be like nice all week, I think. Let's see, high today of 53. Oh my lanta. Today's 53, tomorrow 60, then 66, 59. That is so warm for December. I really would love to possibly take the dogs for a w-a-l-k today i haven't done that in a few weeks because i've just been in so much pain lately but i'm starting to feel better and hopefully i can get back to a little bit of walking i know i'm not going to be at my like typical walking with them just because you know i'm getting so far into my pregnancy and literally walking to the post office takes me out most days so we'll just have to see but it's so beautiful and i hate that they don't get exercise anymore. So we'll see. I did my morning stretches this morning, which felt really nice. I'm trying to do that at least three times a week since I'm no longer working out. Me getting back to my working out lasted for like two weeks, I think. And then I just was like, okay, I can't do this. Like I am hurting too bad, but I'm starting to feel a little better. So I'm not trying to push myself into working out this trimester. I'm more so just wanting to do like stretches and stuff to prepare my body and my baby for labor. So yeah. <laughs> um, but let's take the stuff to the mail and then I got in some exciting packages you guys I got in her name blanket yesterday and her birth announcement little wood sign and it's just all so real I obviously can't show you her stuff with her name on it but yeah I got some exciting things and tonight I'm gonna be doing my nails because I got my new chrome powders in and they look so so pretty and I have not had my nails done for probably a week which is the longest I've gone I don't know since like March maybe since I started doing my own nails but yeah why do I always just open up the vlog chit chatting I'm gonna go and I'll see you in a bit hello hi can I get six stamps please and then I have a package as well I guess <laughs> okay shopper <laughs> yeah <laughs> I am back from my walk and I don't think I'm gonna be taking the dogs for a walk because I was dying just trying to get back here it just feels like my back like this thing doesn't really support much anymore because well I feel like it does like if I'm just walking around the house but actually like outside of the house or like working out and stuff she's just too top heavy nowadays and I, it's just so hard for me to like keep my back straight like I feel like my back is literally going like this and I like try and like push my hips under me but that doesn't stay that way for very long with me walking it is what it is you know and i'm not gonna try and fight it i'm not i'd rather not feel pain and be uncomfortable than risk hurting myself oh i was literally gonna say i got a package and i had no idea what it was because i wasn't expecting anything until tomorrow and saturday but i think this is a thing that was supposed to arrive tomorrow which is cute it doesn't look like anything right now it's actually like um a bolt 
What? A bow holder. <laughs> Can't talk. Baby girl has so many freaking bows that I need something to like hold them. And so I ordered this off of Amazon and it's pretty cute. And I'll just like hang it by her door and then I can just hang all her bows on. Cute. I don't know if I should open it now. Of course I'm gonna open it now. Let's see here. How does this work? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's big. You just hang it on the wall and then you have all these hooks that you can attach your bows to. It's way bigger than what I thought it was gonna be, but I mean, I don't mind it. Cute, fun. You guys, I am about to eat the most random freaking lunch I've ever probably had in my life, but I just need to make something really fast that I already have that's convenient to me just because I don't have a lot of time. I need to get back to work, but I'm gonna have one leftover slice of our pizza because that's all that's left. And then I forgot that I still have two pancakes in the fridge. So I'm gonna have two pancakes. And then I'm also gonna have uh, no sugar added cinnamon applesauce because it sounds delicious. And also a zero sugar jello chocolate and vanilla swirl pudding because that also sounds delicious. What a random lunch. So it is a little later now. I just clocked out of work and I need to just lay on the couch for a little bit and maybe take a nap. I am so tired. I showered during my lunch break because I needed to try and wake myself up because I thought I was going to fall asleep sitting at my desk. I had to get up several times after my lunch break and just like walk in my house to like try and wake myself up and also my butt hurts so bad from sitting. So I had to get up and move. Um, I do need to go to Dollar General to get the dog some food and we're almost out of toilet paper and I was gonna go now but I just I can't I need to lay on the couch and just like rest for a little bit because your girl is tired and then after let me set you up I'm tired of holding you after I go to Dollar General and I might even stop and see if there's a place here that has a salad because I actually like craving a salad so bad I was watching one of my old vlogmas videos from last year and I made a salad that I was obsessed with but I don't have any of this stuff here to make it so I think I might see if somewhere I can find something around here to get it but I also want to do my nails because I am just so excited to do some holiday nails and I think I want to do like a deep like holiday green with my chrome if it looks good if it turns it blue I'm gonna be so upset but that's what we're gonna aim for and then KU plays tonight a new episode of Fixer to Fabulous is on tonight it's just a busy night but I don't know that I'll watch Fixer to Fabulous because I usually wait till the next day sometimes so I can just like fast forward through the commercials and stuff but we'll we'll just have to see what's going on but right now I think I'm gonna take a little nap because your girl is exhausted if I can I always am so tired and then I lay down to take a nap and then I can't ever take a nap so we'll see I also need to film a reel or something I have one ready to go today but I need to film something for tomorrow so we'll just have to see how that goes I've been doing very good so far it's day five this will be my fifth day in a row posting a reel for vlogmas and it's going well so far so i want to keep the streak alive and yeah but for now ttyl okay it's 5 18 i'm still so tired huh. somehow i did manage to get in like a 45 minute to hour nap it didn't start out like that i could feel that my body was trying to fight me on it but then i like flipped over to the other side because i was laying on this side and then i flipped over to this side and that's when I finally was able to fall asleep. And I was not comfortable at all, but I think I was just so tired that my body said, girl, you're gonna sleep. Now I am gonna go get some dog food and something to eat because I'm hungry. Look at this, girl does not wanna stay in. I need to put my vest on because it's my hack to never having to wear a bra. <laughs> because you just don't wear a bra, but you can cover it up, you know, with a vest. And that's just like everything 10 times cuter, I feel like. But my hair looks like a freaking poodle because I washed it and it's so curly. I don't know what to do. It's 48 degrees, so I maybe can get away with the beanie or I should just put it in a little pony, I don't know. We'll just do a pony. Okay, that works. So I'm back home now, I got my dog food, toilet paper, and some grape juice. And when I was unloading 
the cart into my car this guy was like pulling up like a few parking spots like next to me and i was getting ready to take my cart inside and he came over and like took my cart for me he just came over he's like i'll get that for you and i was like okay thank you and then i was like expecting him to like use it but i watched him and he like went in and just like stuck it back in the row of carts when he got inside i'm like that is so nice like it literally made me start crying it was literally like maybe 20 steps for me but for him just to like reach out and just do it for a total stranger like just like made me cry and it just really reminded me like how like nice people can be especially to pregnant people especially around the holidays and it literally i like i was like why am i crying right now like i don't know why i'm emotional but yeah that was so so sweet and then also i also wanted to cry because i just spent almost 15 dollars on the smallest freaking salad at subway i knew i was gonna, that was gonna happen though i don't know why i ended up doing that it was honestly just for pure convenience because i was like i should just come back home and make like something breakfast because i was really like craving breakfast this food but I was like no I don't really want to spend the time cooking it because my kitchen is a disaster and I'd have to clean up before I um, cook it would also just take time out of me doing my nails and stuff it's already six o'clock and I just don't have a lot of time to be doing all that I knew it was gonna be expensive but I was like I'm just gonna get a subway salad and expensive it was I could understand if like I got like something crazy but I literally got lettuce and spinach three pieces of turkey two pieces of bacon some onions and some shredded cheese 15 bucks but this is really good I got a uh, vitamin water it's like a pomegranate and raspberry I think it is delicious so good. Not disappointed in that. That is delicious. Now I'm going to find something on TV to watch while I eat this. Then I'm going to get started on my nails. I forgot I wanted to do the famous Kardashian salad shake. Mmm. That sounds good. Oh, brother. Ugh. Now I can't open it. Oh my gosh. Come on. What the crap? Seriously? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Okay, proceeding back to my show. So I am watching Elf for a little bit until the game starts, but I wanted to show you guys the new chromes that I got since I don't think you could see it earlier. They look so pretty. I think it's the white pearl that i got i got it off of amazon i think they're the two different ones i thought they were the same ones but this is what they look like so freaking pretty and i am hoping that they don't like turn my colors blue because my other one that i have in there it always turns browns purples blacks and like those kind of colors blue just so weird so i'm gonna try these two greens out on just like i always do little samples before i like decide what color i'm doing so i'm gonna try these two greens out on a sample and then i'm gonna do the chrome over them to see how they turn out this one actually kind of looks like a deep blue i don't know we'll try it out and we'll see okay so i did a few different colors and sadly i'm disappointed in all of them they are definitely different chromes one has a blue hue and one has a gold yellow hue and you can see how much it changed them these are the same color this is the same color these are the same color and these are the same color i put one chrome on each of them and they're just all so different and that deep green color that I wanted it actually it's actually like a gray a blue gray this is one of the colors that I used it's like a cranberry color which I think this is a color that I'm end up using and maybe just do one accent nail of chrome because I don't like the full chrome on all of them so I'm gonna try out two of my original chromes this is the first white chrome that I have I'm just gonna try to see if it's different and then I have this like kind of champagne looking kind of chrome i'm gonna try that and i think that could be pretty with the cranberry color for christmas so that might be my option that i do but i'm just gonna test it out because i always test them out before i do them i'll show you guys the color that i'm gonna use and then what those chromes turned it into i should have showed you the colors before i did the chrome 
just to show you how much it changed it. I don't know where to find like chromes that don't change the hue of them. So I would love to do a brown chrome, but I can't do brown with just like the white chrome because it changes it blue. This is the cranberry color that I just painted that I'm gonna use, and that's what I used on these right here. These are the cranberry, wait, I think these are the cranberry colors right here. But see how much those chromes changed it? It's literally crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that in there, cure it for a little bit, and then I'm gonna try the different chromes. Okay, I just did them. This is the white one that turns everything blue. You can see how much more blue it is. But look at this one. I'm definitely gonna do this one because it just is this pretty like champagne gold color and next to the cranberry is so pretty. So that's what I'm gonna do. Finally, we have a color. <laughs> Somebody's wanting some attention. <laughs> Mom's a little busy right now. I'll cuddle you in a little bit, okay? I gotta get this done so I can, we can go to bed later. Uh, 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 get off your sister. I am done doing my nails. They're cute. They're not what I was going for and they're not my favorite nails ever, but I'm not like disappointed in them. I wish the cranberry look was a little deeper just because I feel like it would be more Christmassy, but they're still cute. I'm not upset. They're not the deep green <laughs> that I wanted, but that's okay. I can live with them. They're better than nothing, I guess. Anyways, I have been so freaking impressed with my skin lately it looks so freaking good and i know you guys are looking at it like oh my god the, your skin does not look good at all but honestly everything you're seeing on my face right now is just like scarring and old there's no pimples like i knew since becoming pregnant like my skin has cleared up a lot but i didn't realize it until I, I go back and watch like my old vlogmas videos like my skin was so bad and like i just had bumps everywhere and now it's like just so freaking smooth and i am praying to the gods that it is not just pregnancy like i'm praying that this has been my savior right here the la roche posay face wash that i've been using because i've really kind of been using it mm, Let's see, since I was, I think I got it the day that we found out we were having a girl, which would have been 19 weeks and four days. But I'm just praying that my skin stays like this after pregnancy because it has been so nice not having to like have bad acne and stuff, but I'm so obsessed with it. And I also have noticed how much better my face looks with makeup on. Like the past few days, or the past few times that I've worn makeup, I haven't even worn foundation. I've just used concealer and my bronzer stick and stuff like that. Like literally no foundation, which is crazy because I am a full coverage girl. Like I like full coverage to cover up everything and I feel like it doesn't bother me when I'm not wearing foundation anymore. So I hope it decides to stick around like this because that would be so freaking nice. I would love to have clear skin for once in my life, you know, without being pregnant. So hopefully it's the La Roche Posay that is making the magic happen. <laughs> It's dirty, but I also use the La Roche Posay moisturizer. These are literally the only two things that I use for skincare, and I love them so much. I've never been a girly that likes to use 800 things for skincare because if I have like 800 steps, I won't do it. Sometimes I won't even do these two steps if I'm being honest, but I'd say five nights out of the week, I'm doing it every night, and I love it. It's so simple and easy, and that's, that's what I need. Now for Belly, she's getting big. She is getting big. Just my honest Sweet Curves body lotion that I do. I do about 10 squirts of that. And then the Honest Glow On body oil. I used to do five squirts of this, but I've kind of cut back to three just because I feel like five was maybe a little much. I don't know. 
just mix them together, warm it up a little bit because it is cold, and then put it on my belly, in my boobs, in my butt, in my hips, and herbivore. I usually put my lip stuff on too, but I don't have it in here. I don't know where it's at. I've been just carrying it around with me everywhere. I need to put it back in here because I like my lips to be moisturized when I go to bed at night, so I might have to go find that. I really miss my Laneige, or Laneige, whatever it is, but I just am trying to use up the stuff that I have first before purchasing more stuff, you know? Look at the doggies, ready for bed. Good morning, you guys. I am getting ready. It's 9.20 a.m. Today is a doctor appointment day, which is always exciting. That's just a regular 32 week appointment, so like no sauna or anything, but always exciting nonetheless, you know? I'm doing my quick makeup, no foundation routine. I'm trying to like perfect my mom makeup so that like when baby girl's here, I can only take like 10 minutes to do my makeup, you know? And I think it's going really well. I mean, my green Christmas pajamas. I started a load of laundry this morning and they're gonna get done like right in time for me to go, which is gonna be nice because everything that fits me is in that load of laundry right now. So it was a must that I did the laundry this morning and it's Wednesday, it's laundry day. So you know the vibes. I started to work a little earlier this morning because I just never know how like long my appointments are gonna take. Sometimes I can, I get there and I'm in and out in 20 minutes and other times I'm there for like over an hour. So it just all depends on my doctor, I guess. So I just started work a little earlier just to like cover if I am over an hour for my lunch break or something and I am tired from it. I was just sitting there like my eyes were getting heavy. So I was like, you know, I need to go get ready real fast. I always want to get a coffee on appointment days, but really there's no coffee like on my way to my appointment, like the way that I go because I like take the back way just to make it faster and avoid traffic and stuff. But I was thinking I still have my to-go cup that I have from this weekend. And I'm just gonna make a to-go coffee and it's just gonna be so nice because it's gonna feel like I went and got a coffee before my appointment and I'm so excited. Oh, my arm always kills me when I do my makeup. I don't know why. Ugh. When I get off of work today, I am cleaning my house. I am putting away my laundry that sat over there for freaking like four months now. And I'm just gonna try and organize stuff out there because I need to vacuum so freaking bad and I can't do that with like the clothes hanger out there. I wish I could like put that in my vehicle and take it to Goodwill or something, but it definitely won't fit. So I'll have to wait until we can use Jared's truck to do that sometime. But I just want a clean house. I emptied the dishwasher this morning, so I need to just load it. And yeah, that's what I'm craving. And I hope to goodness that I'm still craving it when I get home or when I clock out after work because it needs done so bad. <laughs> Okay, I'm home from my appointment. I've been home for a while. It's 12.01. I'm gonna make some lunch. I've been watching Lauren Wilcom's video and she made her and her son some toast and that just sounded really good to me so that's what I'm gonna make. But I'm gonna make peanut butter uh, honey or peanut butter and banana. I don't know yet, but that just sounds good. I already had two, my other sourdough bread this morning because I had my egg sandwich that I've been making. So I'm having more bread, but that's okay. Cause that's what I want. And a banana. But my appointment went good, short and sweet to the point, which is always good. Cause that means, you know, things are healthy and everything's looking great. Um, I did talk to my doctor about my craving for dirt and he did mention, like you guys have commented that it is um, Pika. He said it's like, pretty common. He said, if I'm gonna crave anything, he would prefer me to have the craving for dirt versus like other things like Drano and like antifreeze and stuff because he's had that before. And he said with dirt, at least there's like minerals and you know, stuff like that in it. So yeah, he wants me to have my hemoglobin rechecked. He wanted me to do it today, but I didn't have time. So I'm just gonna do it next appointment. But he said, that I could have perfect levels and still kind of crave that. So yeah, 
he was like, have you ate it? And I was like, no, I can't find it. I was like, I know exactly the kind of dirt that I want because I used to eat it, you know, when I was little. He's like, no, I get that. He's like, I used to eat Play-Doh because it was so salty and good. He's like, but I can't blame that on Pika. I was like, yep, I get it. You do weird things when you're a kid, but you do even weirder things when you're pregnant, I feel like. It is now 4.45. I thought off of work at 4. I kind of just touched up my makeup and then I filmed a few reels to get ahead for the next few days. And before I start cleaning, if I get to cleaning, <laughs> I need to edit the reels so that I am just ahead of the game. But I also have fallen behind on my 24 day reading challenge. I saw this post on Instagram or something a long time ago, like probably back in like September or something, maybe like October, I don't know. Let me just find it and I'll read it to you. I found it back on October 29th. It says, new Christmas tradition. Beginning December 1st, read one chapter of the book of Luke in the Bible each evening. There are 24 chapters. On Christmas Eve, you will have read an entire account of Jesus's life and wake up Christmas morning knowing who and why we celebrate, which I just thought was so cool. So I have been doing that. Um, I actually started late because I forgot about it and then I read a few times and then I forgot to read yesterday and I haven't read today. So I need to catch up. What is today? The 6th? Yeah. So I need to read to the 6th so I can stay on pace and then on Christmas morning, I'll wake up and just, you know, know the whole story of Jesus, which is so fun. And I obviously want to do this every single year. And then when baby girl's here, and then when we grow our family even more, it'll be even more special. So I'm gonna do my readings real fast. If you don't know, this is my Bible. I got it off of Amazon. I love it. I love that it has like space on the sides and you can like write notes and stuff if you want. I also got this pack of highlighters that I also highlight and stuff. I haven't been reading my Bible for a while. I was reading it from the very front all the way through and I got to, I don't even know, I think I got to Esther or something and then I stopped reading my Bible and I started listening to the Bible in a Year podcast every single morning. So I do that instead of reading my Bible but I don't know, I, I miss reading my Bible, but I also like listening to the podcast every morning and like, it's not like I can't do both, but I just don't allot enough time in the morning to wake up and read this before work. With the podcast, I can listen to it while I'm working, so it just kind of works out better. But I really want to get back to reading like the whole thing. So yeah, we'll see. I'll link this stuff down in my description box below if you're interested. But yeah, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna edit my reels and then hopefully I'm gonna get to <laughs> putting my clothes away. So I am done editing my reels and shorts. It's 6.45, which means I am not getting to my laundry today. I forgot that I work basketball tomorrow, which means I have to get this video edited and done tonight so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. So I don't have time to do any more cleaning. I'm gonna do the kitchen because I'm in here already while I'm making dinner. But if y'all want a video tomorrow, I need to edit. <laughs> You guys, this soap stuff that I got at Menards last weekend or Saturday is so cool. I love it. You can change the sprayer from a foam and twist it and then it comes a spray. Just so cool. And it smells delicious. It smells exactly like lemon and it's so clean. It's so much cleaner than like Dawn. It's just really cool. Look at that foam. I love it. So I just made my bowl of macaroni and I am listening slash watching the Santa Claus 2 but I'm closing the video out here so I can get it all edited and hopefully have it posted tomorrow. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, or respond to all my comments. So let's chat. If you haven't already, make sure to hit this Blah, 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 blah. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile.